In this demo, we will see how to add a domain group to a local administrative group. This is a common practice where uh, in, a, in a big organization, uh, they will create a group, uh, say um, like help desk or support admins, and uh, they will add that group to the local administrators group. So anyone in that help desk group can administrate the Windows workstations. So it is uh, pretty uh, simple to accomplish with um, GPO and we will see how to do that. So let's connect to the DC. Go to, uh, first let's go to Active Directory Users and Computers and let's create um, a new group called Help Desk. And let's uh, go with the defaults here. So you have a group called Help Desk, right? And we didn't add any users at this time, and uh, but we will add it later. But for now, let's um, go create a GPO to add that help desk group to the local administrators group on each workstation. So let's, um, so my computers are listed. So if I go back to this active one more time, I created a, something called OU, Organization Unit, and it's pretty simple. Just right click, say New, Organizational Unit. And once you do that, I just moved all my computers to the system. So all my three systems, instead of showing it here, uh, I mean, it is uh, in this list. So all you have to do is just drag and drop into this OU. So once you have that, let's go back to the GPO. And um, let's create a new GPO and say help desk GPO, right? You can name anything you need, but uh, for now, let's keep it help desk GPO. And this is going to be uh, applied at the computer configuration level. So we're going to make changes here. And if you go to policies, Windows settings, security settings and there is something called restricted groups this is where you can do something like this where you can add a, a domain group uh, that the thing is important it's a domain group being added on to a local administrators group so this um, this again this domain group will be a member of a local administrators group so all the all the users that are in the help desk group will have administrative privileges on the workstations so let's see how to do that. So add a group and uh, we can call, we can browse to it. So you can browse and um, so you did a browse here and then um, we, we call the group help desk. So since it's a domain, we should be able to see it. Uh, maybe we didn't give any space. Okay, it found it, so I click okay. So this is the group that will be added to the local administrators group. And um, this one says the groups to which this group belongs. So this is what we're looking for. So I, what I said was um, whatever group we're creating should be a member of that group. So we need to find administrators. So let's type adminis. Okay, so this is the group we want to add. So this particular help desk will be a member of this group. This is good, so let's click apply. I think that is good there. And we need to apply this GPO to the computer, to the, uh, the new OU we created, which is my computers. So all you have to do is right click on here link an existing GPO and you can pick the one we just created which is help desk GPO. So all the computers that are in this list which are those three systems which we have been seeing will get that policy updated and hopefully we'll have a, um, a group called a domain group called help desk added to the administrators group.
So now let's go to the workstations. Let's pick um, Windows 10. Like we saw in the last video, we need to do a GP update to force it. You can do a GP result to see if, uh, if this policy was applied. So let's check that. Okay, so we have this help desk GPO. So that policy was applied to this computer. Uh, we may have to restart, but uh, let's give it a shot before. And local users. There you go. So we have this group added uh, to this list, right? Uh, let's also check the Windows 7 box to make sure it took. It's again GP update. After this, we will do the GP result to check. Okay, so um, it's called help desk GPO. Okay, so I think it looks like it's applied. So let's look at local edit local users and groups. If you go to groups, there's administrators. If you click on it, and you see that um, help desk is a member. Okay. So now uh, the nice thing about uh, this feature is um, let's go back to the OU or the d domain controller. And um, so let's create a user. Let um, like help desk like HD, HD. And uh, give it a complex password. And um, user, no, I don't want that. So let's uncheck this one, password never expires, okay, for now. So now, HT is a user, and um, so we can right click on the properties, and he's a member of domain users. This comes by default. Let's also add the help desk. So he's a member of domain users and also help desk. Since this help desk is a member of local administrators group. Uh, this particular user called HT uh, is a local administrator on all these boxes in the system, right? So let's see that. I mean, so you can add as many as uh, users you want to the help desk group and every, every one of those users will have admin rights and they can do um, administrative tasks. So let's check that out. So now, since the policy is applied, let's log off and log in as that user. Uh, let's pick the Windows 7 system. Switch user and then other user and it's called help desk HD. So since this is a new user, it will set all the profiles and everything for that particular user. Um, but hopefully he should be an administrator on the system. And um, in case HD, and uh, let's see if we can launch any system as a admin. So right click and run as administrator. So now, um, so the all the users that belong to the help desk group uh, will be an administrator on any of the local boxes. In the next demo, I will show you one more example for GPO and uh, we can wrap up this course.